Hello, my thrifty friends. Uh, you guys saw where we're at. Ah, I'm so excited. We're at Valley Village. Um, the weather has been awful. Oh, I think someone's coming to share a coupon. There's this lady that just donated. No, she not. <laughs> that was awkward. She needed help and I kind of told her what to do to make the donation and then she was like walking towards me with her coupon. I'm like, yes, yes, come, come, give me the coupon. No. She like totally psyched me out. Okay, anyways, uh, I think we're gonna do three store sourcing again. I try and do this like a good sourcing once a week. And the video I shared on Wednesday was actually from last week. So yeah, today is gonna be my three store sourcing. Uh, and then I'll probably source again tomorrow. And then I would just do like Value Village quickly, probably like 40 minutes. And then I rip over to one of the buy sell trades and I'll do like maybe another half hour there. I actually don't spend that much time sourcing. I'm not kidding guys. I literally, run my business in eight to 10 hours a week, the reselling portion. I kind of have it narrowed down to a pretty small amount of hours. And some weeks it's actually probably six to eight hours. I can usually source in two to three hours a week and then some listing time, some shipping time. That's it. I use automation for everything else. So it makes my life a lot easier. But um, I think today's going to be a really good day sourcing because the weather has been awful. I'm going to show you what it looks like here. This is outside my window. So we were in spring-like conditions literally two days ago and then we're supposed to get like, I don't know, two to three days of rain slash snow. It started as rain, now it's just been snow. And we're kind of back into winter. So yep, stole Emika's toque. I couldn't find any of my tubes this morning and it's pretty cold outside. Um, but yeah, I think the sourcing is gonna be really good today because the weather has been so bad. I think a lot of people have just been staying home. They're not heading out. They don't wanna be driving out in this weather. It was a sheer skating rink getting here. Not gonna lie, Jeff was like, really? Do you have to go sourcing? I'm like, yeah, yeah, like I'm going sourcing. These are the best days to source because everyone is staying home. The weather is crappy, so there should be lots of good stuff to buy. All right, I'm gonna eat my breakfast. I was in a rush this morning. I had to give Emika a ride to school, um, but I have eggs and sausage and I brought, so there's like someone parked, another regular right beside me, and my coffee, and I'm gonna quickly enjoy this because I have about five minutes before they open, so I gotta make quick work, shove this food in my mouth, and we're gonna head in and see what we can find. And yes, this is an Ikea spoon. You, if you don't use Ikea spoons when you travel, you're in a totally different tax bracket than I am. <laughs> Same thing if you don't take Ikea spoons to work. I don't know, what do you use? <laughs> okay guys, let me eat and we're gonna head in. I always have to do voiceovers when I'm sourcing. I found this beautiful dynamite new with tags blouse top quickly did sold comps they didn't look that great they were asking $6.99 so I'm gonna pass today looking for some good brands and the first one we find is this one it's an anthropology brand and I could tell by the there you go there's the tag gold stitching on it I could tell by the embroidery so I'm gonna grab that one this free people top, I don't it looks so dated. It's a free people intimate wear. Maybe it's not, but I just, I'm trying not to pick up, you know, their flimsier pieces. So I'm gonna pass on that one. Oh, I love the mugs. Good old Starbucks. I think this was a 2020. And yeah, I just, I don't know enough about them. I also don't really sell a lot of hard goods. So I'm gonna leave that one, but it's still my favorite place to come and look in the store looking for that Starbucks mug that I collect. Ooh, denim shirts, my favorite section. I love grabbing denim shirts, especially in summer. Very Western. I haven't found very many lately. Have you been finding them? And then we'll head over to the shoes. I don't like selling shoes, so I'm gonna look here. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm looking for some rare unicorn shoe that's gonna sell for over $100. <laughs> but the reality is I have a whole Ikea bag of shoes at home that just need to be listed. This is my least favorite category to 
to sell and those keens were really worn and there was no price tag i couldn't find it anywhere but i would assume they were probably going to be marked at around 20 25 dollars but nothing jumps out to me Ooh, these sandals these i thought they were like a burke or a burke type brand but they were really flimsy cheap straps more like of a material instead of a leather so i'm not going to grab those and then men's shorts i'm trying to expand my categories for ebay these are a pair of eddie bowers for eleven dollars and fifty cents i did check comps there they weren't really selling for enough to justify it but i'm looking for you know brands that hold more value on ebay with high sell through rates so definitely was comp checking in there <laughs> this men's lululemon shirt you can always spot it by those three bars if you see them and then check that back left corner and usually you'll find the lulu logo but this was marked at $25, which is quite a bit of money to grab. If it was for Jeff, I think I would have grabbed it. And then another Lulu item, this is a Define jacket. They're asking $25 for this one as well, but it's a pretty old style. Oh my gosh, this gave me all the feels. I don't know why this reminds me of Barbie. This reminds me of Barbie prom. <laughs> and then wedding dresses, oh. I love looking in this section more. Let's do a wedding dress fashion show. not too busy there was um two other resellers there right away so i have to make quick through the store and try and get to like my favorite sections first because they're going to their favorite sections so it's a little bit harder to record i promise i'm gonna start wearing that body cam soon body cam oh my gosh i have a chest harness for my gopro and I want to start wearing it and then it's like easier because I can edit way more stuff out but it is like it's hard it's it is so hard to stick that thing on and to go into stores but um I did find some really good stuff why did I put my bag back there Ugh. okay let's go through the goodies that I found uh, first, I did grab that Lululemon sweater. It's a size 12, it was $15.99, and I got an email that if I spent $70, I saved 30%. Now the max discount, there's a little like fine print in there, is $21, which is actually exactly 30% of $70. So you have to spend up to $70, but they're only gonna give you $21 max off the purchase, whatever. So my total was, I think it was $80 and then minus that 21 so 60 I think it turned out to be like 58 90 something like that it was under 60 bucks so not too bad first is this size 12 black Lululemon sweater and I know it, I don't know why but in video it always looks really faded but it's not it's in excellent condition I, I'm excited about this and they had it priced not too bad at $15.99 Minus my 30%, I paid like 10 bucks for this, maybe a little bit more, but still really good. Um, I also grabbed this vintage, what is it called? Rough wear. Here's the tag. So made in Hong Kong. This is probably an 80s type top. 
but it's like a button down and this is coastal cowgirl this is what coastal cowgirl is about it's like denim with like white dresses white blouses uh nice light colored jean shorts uh cowgirl boots like it's just a whole vibe coastal cow I ha it's like it's a tongue twister coastal cowgirl is sweeping i think it's going to be one of the top festival uh, outfits that people are looking for and it's just a just a vibe that people are going for so I grabbed this one excited about that I haven't picked up a good denim button down in a hot minute but I haven't found very many good ones uh, this one you you saw in the video and I it's hard to show you so this is the tag can you guys see it and it's called Akemi and Kin it's an anthropology brand and I knew when I saw the tag like it just looked like it had quality it has like gold Oh gosh, sorry guys, it's so bright in here. It has like gold stitching right there. And then the embroidery around the neck, like it's just a different level of detail, right? Like you can tell between cheap and more quality brands, but I really like this one. Yellowish orange, really nice color. A little bit more of a, oh, and the sleeves have like a little bit of flare on them. A little bit more of a fall tone, but I am no longer differentiating between spring summer and fall i'm just grabbing it all now i am grabbing it all because everything seems to be selling still next is a north face size large fleecy this is a really good price too a lot of times they have these priced at like 16.99 17.99 and this one's a lined one is really nice i might keep this one for myself i'm gonna try it on uh oh no oh that's why. All right, we're gonna exchange this tomorrow. Not dealing with that. Okay, that's an exchange. Uh, what else do we got in here? Oh, this is actually really nice. Helly Hansen, I love the logo. I'm pretty sure it's a men's medium. They had it at 10 bucks. I would have paid like seven. Uh, again, it looks not good in the camera, like faded out, but it's a really nice navy blue new like condition except it's got a little bit of i think like a deodorant mark almost actually because it seems to come out when i scrape it so might have to do a little spot clean on that one but it's practically brand new one more north face green fleecy loving the tonal two-tone green not my favorite color green i don't know this reminds me of like baby poop but uh i like i don't know i like i like green kind of fluorescent i don't think i maybe i'll try it on maybe i'll try it on is it a size large it is a size extra large boys oh my gosh i didn't even catch that it was in the women's but it'll probably fit like a women's large which is fine with me and then the last item which i haven't grabbed an item like this in a long time i think i just haven't found really cool unique pieces like this i think this will do better on poshmark than ebay the rest of these items i don't know it'll be hit and miss i'm gonna list on both nothing here that i source specifically for ebay these are all kind of poshmark friendly items i feel like you guys are crooked here uh but this jacket this is definitely a poshmark one i love this it's like an 80s jean jacket but it's oversized two-tone like flannel but blue nice color inside is flannel has a cinched in waist and it's nice and long big open pockets these are my favorite jean jackets to find but i don't find them very often let's head over to okay we're gonna go to style encore because i want to see what they have i haven't been there since last week i haven't sourced it all this week actually and then i want to go to plato's and see if they have those crocs because wendy messaged me and she was like those crocs new it tags that's like those are good go back and pick them up so we're gonna go see if they're still there if they're there i will grab them also got some fresh hair to yesterday so no more grays they just did a little tone out and cut i like the length a little bit shorter but uh yeah okay Let's go to the next one. Well, I left Chattanooga, boy, 
had a dollar and a dime I hit it out for Nashville On the hard rock line I'm working on that old The inside of my car looks like right now. You've been saving every penny for to make up through the fall. Working for that dollar, but it never adds up at all. Coming around the river banker, the old train was so sane. The very next thing you hear from me, I've been tied to a ball and chain. Well, come this time tomorrow, reckon I don't know where I'll be. But if it wasn't for that old sheriff, I'd be back in Tennessee. Playing cards and crap games, not looking for the score. And if I ever get back home again, I'll never own no To my son. may not know better, but I know you know right from wrong. Buy yourself a postcard. Well, that was super discouraging. Oh my gosh, I didn't take very much video in there. Also, I feel like their prices went up again, which is really tough. So, just for reference, I used to probably spend. I don't know sometimes I would I could spend up to $500 a week like not every week but it wasn't uncommon for me to spend five or six hundred dollars here before and that was probably before last Christmas and since then it's just been like there's certain items I look for and it's like every couple weeks they're up like two bucks two bucks two bucks and items that I used to pay like $18 are now 24 and that's like a six dollar increase which is a pretty high percentage increase if you ask me in a couple months but it's not my business I don't run it but it's kind of pushed me out of there for some sourcing um but like the reality is I'm still spending money on sourcing I just need to take my business elsewhere I think I'm still going to come through here looking for those gems but I'm going to have to take my money elsewhere because I just uh, they're just asking too much for the stuff that that I'm looking for and I tried to go through and find maybe newer brands that would sell on eBay but they um that I mean it's a buy sell trade store so they're priced pretty competitively there wasn't very much that I found and I comp searched a bunch of things I was in there for oh my gosh close to 50 minutes and everything was priced very similar to online values so it's hard to make a profit on that stuff right i'm gonna head over to plato's i have been having more luck at plato's lately their pricing is a little bit better on the items that i'm picking up uh not their lulu their lulu is ludicrous like it's crazy they're they're 50 dollars flat rate for new lulu pants like that's there's no negotiation no no negotiations you will not find a better price on those and their crops usually are like 45 so not much of a difference i do not buy lululemon women's wear there uh but what i did get from this location are some levi's 501 shorts i think these are in like a size 20 oh size 30 that's awesome liking those bigger sizes and a pair of rib cage ones and these are in a size 26 i'm actually gonna see if emika wants these ones i don't know if she's wearing rib cage shorts but yeah that's it i spent a whopping 20 dollars. so what are we at what did i spend 58 so like 60 20 dollars. i've spent 80 bucks <laughs> that math took a long time all right let's head over to play-doh's i'm gonna see if those crocs are still there and uh we'll take a look around see what else there is oh play-doh's i need to start that or it's gonna keep dinging play-doh's is having a clearance sale and i think they're 
like 80 or 90, 70 or 90 percent off now but there's a lot of just like boutique stuff because shopping is a little bit more sparse here in Saskatoon I find people buy a lot of boutique brands and the resale just isn't there in those brands not online maybe locally but not online okay we're gonna head over to Plato's I need to have a little bit more of my coffee Let's see what we can find. Em and I were on our way to the high school and there's this corner in our neighborhood that's like a sweeping corner. And I should have known it was gonna be sheer ice. But of course we're going at this corner. I go to tap my brake and we are like sideways one way, sideways the other way. Emika's like, we're gonna die. I'm like, we are not stopping dramatic. It's too early for that. And then we like straighten out. I'm like, holy moly, it's slippery. And of course we get going, I'm like, call dad. So we call dad and I'm like, you did not tell me it was a skating rink outside. Um, usually he'll like text me. Oh, I need gas. Usually he'll text me and he'll be like, hey, the roads are really bad or heads up, give, your, give yourself a little bit more time, whatever. He did not give me a heads up today, but um, we survived. It was really slow driving to the school. It was, an, it was a skating rink the whole way. No, about two thirds of the way. And then it kind of slushed up and they must've like salted the roads or something, but oh my gosh. I am ready for spring and summer. I'm over this cold weather. I'm over brushing snow off my car. I didn't even clean the snow off my back window. I don't know if you guys noticed, but eesh, it's snow covered. I could technically get a ticket for it. Um, I could see like a little, but uh, I don't even know where my snow brush is. I'm pretty sure Jeff took it out of my car already because we everything melted, it was gone. Oh well, okay, we're almost there. $145, which was a little bit more than I think I was going to, but I found some really good pieces, pieces that I think will do well. I also left some good pieces there, more just on the price, and then when I looked up solds, I was like, mm, 
not really enough for me to pick them up. But first thing that I grabbed is this NYX brand. I'm going to show you. It's the NYX brand um, athletic wear, but it's like compression wear. These do all right. I don't want to say pretty good. I'm going to say all right. I did sell a matching set. What made me pay attention was when I was looking for the brand inside, I saw this and I was like, what, what are these? And then I looked a little bit closer and I was like, okay, uh, they are high-waisted. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, okay, so as I look closer, damn, look at, look at all that wear in the back. Oh, that sucks, that sucks. Okay, I'm gonna have to do something with that. Um, I might even go in really quick and do the, do the return and get a gift card kind of thing. Uh, next is this Nui Tags, free people, long sleeve floral dress, loving it. I scored a bat, oh my gosh, this is so heavy. It's the group, uh, Babaton, size large, long sleeve, full length, ribbed, I can't even show you guys, but it's like a ribbed dress. Definitely a fall winter piece, but oh man, it was just so nice and it was the right price. Uh, I grabbed these two dresses. They must have came from the same person. So the first one is Sailor, which is a Revolve brand. Uh, comps are all over the place. I paid $22 for this dress, which is kind of like a peasant style tiered, oops, mm -hmm, cottage core type dress. But I feel confident that I'll be able to sell this for over $70. So I'm going to list it a little bit higher. Uh, original price on these is actually pretty high, but questionable on the resale. Uh, but yeah, I, I know I can make $30 or $40 guaranteed. I'm hoping for closer to $70. And then this was another new to me brand. And it's Misa. So Misa Los Angeles. Uh, what brought my attention to it was the, the material. It just felt really nice. And I'm actually curious if it's linen, but I don't, oh my gosh. How do you even find anything in here? I don't even know where, where's the right way? Here we go. Oh, 100% cotton and it's a dry clean only item. Anyways, I'll show you guys the tag one more time and this also brought my attention to it there's like a little gold thing hanging in the back anyways really cute kind of again tiered summer beachy dress nice colors uh and this one i think was 20 20 flat so another item that has mixed comps but i'm hoping to sell this for over 70 and then my favorite item that i found today is this Lululemon size 8 swimsuit long sleeve peach colored swimsuit and uh, I knew as soon as I saw kind of like this thing in the front I was like oh my gosh that's Lulu they had it marked at $30 this is a $148 swimsuit which is a fantastic deal I'm pretty excited about that one uh, yeah, so that were that was the items I grabbed. Nothing crazy. I think that's all it. I'm gonna go in and quickly try and return these pants because those are there's holes in them. Like those are really worn. I think they only do exchanges, but maybe they'll just give me a gift card. Okay, we'll be back. They gave me cash back. That's awesome. So she was like, "Yeah, I'll give you cash back on that." So that's sweet. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad today. Uh, I, I don't know what I was hoping for. I feel like I was hoping for more and better, but some days are really good and some days are like meh. All right, let's head home and we gotta ship a few items. And then I also wanna talk about um, Coastal Cowgirl a little bit more and go over some of the aesthetic because I think this is gonna be something that's really happening this year and Barbie. I, th I think pink is like, pink is happening, bright colors is happening. But if you're not into those, then I think Coastal Cowgirl might be the aesthetic to shop for. When did gas get this expensive? Oh my gosh.
Who's that? Oh, <laughs> hey, hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hello. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it is such a mess in here. <laughs> I still haven't cleaned up. Ugh. <sighs> Jeez, oh, this is all sweaters to be put away and inven inventoried into the right bins. Okay, we're not gonna worry about the mess. We're just gonna ship some stuff, pull some items. Uh, Maybe try, I gotta try and photograph some stuff too. It's been a really busy day. Uh, Jeff's had a bunch of stuff that he kind of piled on my plate, but yeah. Okay, we gotta get this shipping done. I have an eBay order to do, oh shoot. I found some dirt on the bottom that I gotta clean before I ship, so I don't wanna send it wet. I'm gonna show you guys quick. Here it is. It's just like some mud maybe. Maybe I don't even need to like wet it. No, I'm totally gonna have to wet it. Um, yeah, I think that's the only spot. Let's get these labels printed and then uh, we can pull those items. Fifty nine. 249 number three you can actually see <laughs> 308 and oh this is gonna be a shelf they're a pair of calvin klein and are they called no guess mules like mule shoes or whatever all right not too bad. A little haul to ship out. Uh, I'm just gonna grab these. I'm gonna show you these. I sourced these quite a while ago. I grabbed them in Fernie. These are them. They're leather. Guess. Oh, or like suede leather. They're just gorgeous. Very um, 90s style. Like they gave me Nev Campbell vibes or like. Um, Jennifer Aniston, yeah, all the feels for those. So those will get packaged up. With shoes, I like to bag them just because sometimes the heels are pointy, right? And they can poke through the poly mailer. It just keeps them kind of bundled together. This is such an awkward package. Okay, and I gotta write my little thank you. All right, number one. Next one is going to. Oh, <laughs> it's like Harry Y T E, but the name is actual actually Harriet. And if my name was Harriet, I think I would do the same thing. I would go by Harry. That's such a bad ass name all right nice mauve color lululemon long sleeve this has not been listed very long i feel like i just thrifted this or sourced this maybe like two weeks ago really quick flip those guest shoes i've had listed i don't know probably a year uh at least since summer at least in summer. Oh, this is going to Spirit River, Alberta. That's awesome. Next is this Lululemon uh, Swiftly Tech. Not seeing the profits that I want on these, but making sales happen. Uh, I keep saying I'm gonna stop picking these up soon because I'm not making the money that I wanna make off them. And then I keep grabbing them because they're just, they're like quick 10, 15 bucks, 10, $15 profit after fees, after cost of goods, but they sell so quickly. And I think that's what gets me and why I keep grabbing them. If they didn't sell and I sat on them, I think then I'd be like, man, but they just sell so quick. I'm just, I'm always torn. 
always torn, hoping they'll sell for more. And then I'll get the odd, um, like, unicorn sale, right, that just sells for very close to what you imagined it would sell for or what you were your wishful sale. And then it, like, renews my, my hope in ooh, I'm in long sleeves, but it's not realistic and it's not a realistic way to run a business either. All right, next one, Carissa, and she is getting these jean shorts, a pair of Levi's 501 jean shorts, very cute, not listed very long. What did they sell for? Uh, $35. Ugh. This is not the spring sales that I was anticipating um, for this year. I was expecting these things to sell very well. And I'm just noticing kind of across the board that everything is selling for far less. And I'm not losing money on items. Definitely not losing money, but just not making the profits that I want. And that's causing me some grief you know like trying to reevaluate what I be, should be sourcing I have been doing you know paying up for things but when I pay up usually those items were selling for like 50 60 70 dollars and now that I'm seeing you know a decrease in my average sale price and that profit margins becoming much smaller it's hard to justify paying up for those items and that's where I am currently it doesn't mean that's how it's always going to be but right now I just I'm not taking the chances that I used to you know even a month ago I'm definitely more cautious and you guys saw like when I was outsourcing today I mean yeah it probably seems like I find a ton of stuff but I leave so much stuff because of the prices and I'm just not confident that the item is gonna you know make enough money to be worth picking up Ideally, like I would love to make, you know, over $25 to $35 profit, like after cost of goods, after fees um, per item. But right now, I'm not always seeing that. And um, yeah, it's definitely making me real reevaluate right now how I'm sourcing and what I'm sourcing and what I'm selling. And it's okay to you know, pivot and try different things. You don't have to do the same thing over and over. If something's not working, I would definitely recommend trying something different. This is going to Sarah. Sarah, thank you. Those were Levi's jeans. Oh my gosh. Sarah has bought from me before and uh, I wrote my little thank you on here. I hope you love them. I know you will. Those are fantastic jeans. So yeah, I'm in the process of just kind of reevaluating how I'm sourcing what I'm listing. I got to work through a lot of stuff. And then, uh, yeah, I've just kind of simmered down. I, I know it probably seems like I'm grabbing lots, but I've really tightened the purse strings. Really. Like today, what did I spend? 140 plus 80 is 60, what, 220? And on a sourcing day before, if I went to all three stores, I would easily spend $500, $600. Easily. Easily. Some weeks, if it was really good, I could spend upwards of 1000 So, and that, that's not every single week, obviously, but um, when it's good, I spend. And when it's not good, I'm a little bit tight. And today felt like a bit of a tight day. <laughs> Just, yeah, I left like those denim forum shorts. Eee, if it would have been last summer, I bet you I would have grabbed them. And when I looked at the solds, they're just currently, like, they're selling for $40. And I'm going to pay $16, I think is what they were, $16. So $40 minus Poshmark's percentage. That puts me to $32 minus my cost of, cost of goods. It's, like, less than $15 profit. And that's tough. I mean, it's not outrageous, but mm, I don't know. I'm I'm not trying to spin a bunch of items just to make a $10 profit. Um, I'd have to sell, you know, 10 items a day to make a $100 profit. And for some people, that seems very feasible and it's very doable because this is their full-time job. But for me, because I run this as a part-time gig and a very part-time gig, like eight to 10 hours a week, 
uh, I have to make, I, I need to do less work and make the same amount of money. So if I can just try and source better, I have good sourcing locally and uh, yeah, just have to try and narrow it down. All right. Uh, oh, the other thing I wanted to talk about was that Coastal Cowgirl. Sorry, all those packages are done. Uh, Coastal Cowgirl. So here's my little tidbit. So Coastal Cowgirl, we talked about it before. It's like light denim, white dresses, denim jean jackets, cowboy boots. It's like, it's very light cowgirl style like very light tones white lots of white white dresses white blouses um with denim and usually light wash denim but i don't think there's a hard set rule on that but uh if you have any denim shorts in your closet right now i would tag them as festival and coastal for sure like those are two that i am going to be putting into all my denim shorts right now because i I think like I don't know if you have to use coastal cowgirl as the style tag or the keyword and I'll put maybe I'll put the keyword into the listing but as the style tag for Poshmark I'm just going to use coastal it applies to everything I use it as a broad term and I'm thinking it will also fall in if someone's searching for coastal cowgirl I don't know that was what I wanted to throw out there because I was thinking about it earlier and I was like I should toss out that uh style tag all right well we went and did some sourcing we did some shipping we had a little chitty chat and i am gonna head out of here i would love to know what are your favorite pieces out of today i have so many i actually really like those dresses i'm excited uh someone had commented last week that their top sell like they make more money on dresses than they do sweaters and that hasn't been the case for me in the last year or two but I also wasn't looking at different brands to source for dresses. So I am expanding my horizons and I'm hoping to turn my dress category in my closet as a profitable category. And I, I do think that there's definitely profits and it's just learning those brands that sell and like comp searching while you're out and not just Poshmark comp searching, but also doing like eBay comp searching. That's that's what I'm doing quite a bit of now. But yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys enjoyed. And if you found any cool brands or any bolos that you want to shout out, let me know because I'm trying to grow my brand knowledge right now. I'm trying to step out of my bubble of Aritzia and Lululemon. I'm trying to find new stuff and um, yeah, just trying to broaden my business a bit more. All right, I am going to head out of here. If you enjoy this, if it brings value to your reselling business, give me a thumbs up and let me know. Also, make sure you tap subscribe on the way out. Thank you so much for joining me and coming along on all my adventures. Uh, I, I appreciate you guys so, so much. All right, I am wishing you all many sales. I'm sending you the sales, the juju, the good sourcing, everything. This is just good vibes all around and I will see you next time. Bye.